Finally, I want to talk about this evil, 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 evil proposal by the, not proposal, it's done deal by the Biden administration. You know, I often criticize the right for hyperbole, for being hysteric, for, 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 for taking things out of proportion, for uh, attacking the left um, in, in a kind of hysterical way. Well, here, uh, go for it. You can be as hysterical as you want because it's justified. So earlier this week, the Department of Homeland Security, Department of Homeland Security, told Congress that uh, the agency was creating a, quote, disinformation governance board to combat, quote, misinformation. They say coming from Russia as we near the year's midterm election. So this committee will be headed by a disinformation fellow. I think they should call her a disinformation czar, or even better, I think they should call her a truth czar. Of course, she comes from a leftist think tank named after Woodrow Wilson. Look, there is nothing more important than free speech. There's no value more important fighting for than free speech. And as I've said over and over and over again, it is only really government that can censor. I don't consider what happens on Twitter a free speech issue, uh, although you could say censorship by proxy, maybe, but then you'd have to prove that it was by proxy. But explicit government intervention of free speech, explicit government sanction of speech, like DeSantis did to Disney. And I know a lot of you didn't like the show I did where I condemned DeSantis, but you know what? Tough. You guys don't understand what liberty and freedom require. Um, and, and DeSantis didn't take any particular rights and privileges Disney had. On the contrary, Disney just had the ability to govern the property that it owned. It had property rights. It was freer. You didn't take any privilege they had. You took away their freedom. DeSantis took away their freedom because they said something he didn't like. And that's... But now, the... And by the way, he's one of the biggest critics of this Biden disinformation governance board. Yes, Nathan, you are reading my mind. This is exactly what I was going to talk about. This is a true evil. And look, I'm not worried about what Biden's going to do with it. It's, it's going to be pretty weak. It's going to be ineffectual. It's in the Department of Homeland Security, which is impotent. It's, it, it, they won't know what to do with it. They don't know what to do with it. What's scary is the precedent. What's scary is that you've created a board in Department of Homeland Security, a department that explicitly has guns that is responsible for what is true and what is not, what is information and what is disinformation. You're getting the government involved directly into issues of speech that they have no business in. You're getting the government involved directly into what is true and what is not true. And we know, we know that almost everything coming out from a politician's mouth is a lie. We know that Biden lies all the time. We know that Trump made lying an art form. We know that every one of these politicians lie, 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 lie. Will they ever label their lies disinformation? Of course not. But who will they label disinformation? Well, they're critics. This is the direct attack on freedom, a direct attack on liberty, a direct attack on the fundamental principle, on the fundamental value that undermines liberty and freedom. And that is the ability to think, the ability to speak, the ability to government this power. This is the ultimate evil. I don't have a problem with Twitter or Facebook or YouTube or any of these private platforms deciding what they carry and what they don't carry. I'd like it to be more objectively presented so I know what they will carry and what they won't. But when it's the government's doing, it is beyond the pale. God, I've just lost half of the people watching live just disappeared. Did I say something that offended anybody? Maybe I said something nasty about Trump and that scared them away. Now, what scares me 
It's not what the Biden administration is going to do with it. It's going to be a joke coming out of the Biden administration. They can't get anything right. By the connection is wonky. I, I apologize if it's glitching, and uh, and the connection is is uh, is not great. But it, I, I'm using the bandwidth I have. The bandwidth is not great here, so uh, it is what it is. So sorry about that. Hopefully, hopefully it's still all online. It's still going. So what scares me is that once you establish an agency like this, it will never go away. No administration is going to come into office and do away with it. And I challenge, I challenge DeSantis now publicly. And you should do it on Twitter. You should all challenge DeSantis on Twitter. DeSantis has come out, did a press conference today condemning this department, condemning this new disinformation department, condemning it as truth czar, agency of truth. Well, DeSantis, do you commit... Do you commit to bind yourself to this commitment that if you become president of the United States, you will dismantle this entity? Now, I think we should demand that of everybody running for president, certainly anybody on the Republican side. A commitment a commitment to dismantling this, because what scares me is how this will be used by Republicans in the future. I mean, do you think Donald Trump would want to dismantle this? Or would you want to use this against the Washington Post? Against any enemy he could find, or against anybody who criticizes him? Against anybody who claims that he is lying or wrong? It's, what scares me is when you have an effectual president, somebody who knows what they're doing, using this as a tool to destroy their... And that could change. This is an incredibly dangerous thing. This is something we should be talking about. This is something we should be demanding our politicians to commit that if they win the presidency, they will dismantle it. They will get rid of it. This should be a primary focus for all of us to get rid of this agency. It is truly evil, truly destructive, truly undermining of everything that the Founding Fathers created in this country. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.